Welcome back again, and we're continuing our readings from Lamentations, and we're at the very end of chapter 1. We're going to read verses 20 to 22, and then think about that a little bit. Here we go. See, O Lord, that I am in distress. My soul is troubled. My heart is overturned within me, for I have been very rebellious. Outside the sword bereaves. At home it is like death. They have heard that I sigh, but no one comforts me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that you have done it. Bring on the day you have announced that they may become like me. Let all their wickedness come before you and do to them as you have done to me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many and my heart is faint. Well, what are some of the things we hear here? Well, one thing we hear is the kingdom of Judah through the the words of the prophet Jeremiah, come back to God and he says basically, I am suffering, I am suffering. Oh God, notice my suffering, I truly am suffering. It's important that we actually are actually coming towards him, that we are coming to him. Uh, And again, we have the admission, I have been very rebellious. That's very important. All the enemies are glad, all the enemies are glad that that things are coming down on, on Jerusalem. Bring on the day that you've announced. That's interesting. You know, God has announced a day of judgment. There's a time of judgment coming, and God sometimes uses nations to chasten his his people who've gone out of the path. But a lot of times the trouble is, it seems to be, when we look at the history, that the nations enjoy, they enjoy stretching themselves out and and squishing down and and, and forcing down against God's people. They enjoy it, and and that's the wrong spirit. And, And so here we have this, oh, the day, the, the day of judgment that you've announced, you know, make sure you judge them because they have the wrong spirit. And we know God, of course, will do that. And again, we have a verse 22, this owning for all my transgressions are, you know, my size are many, all my transgressions. They're owning the fact that the person, the, the city, the, the kingdom of Judah has sinned against the Lord God of heaven. Very important to own that because many times we're just Prancing along, we're just not thinking about our transgressions. And we can't understand why God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers the way we expect. We're always, when there's an issue, it's always us. We're the party at fault. Oh, may God give us a heart again to repent. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, there's a, there's a warning elsewhere in the Bible that says, Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. Here we have... The enemies of God's people, glad that God's people are so downtrodden right now. Lord, bring on the day that you've announced. Uh, Bring us to the day of judgment. But before we get there, please, Lord, help the hearts of everyone who's willing to come to Jesus. Help those hearts be turned toward Jesus. Please, Lord, for us today, as we're trying to apply this to our own day, our own situation, help us, Lord, to have hearts, repentant hearts, turning, opening completely, fully to Jesus Lord, do a work in us now. We know the hour is so late. Bless us, we pray, through Jesus. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so you've got your whole day in front of you. What better way to begin it than by completely submitting to God, the God of heaven, and seeking his counsels? You do that, you're going to have a a really powerful day.